to be treated like a real artist and have your work framed and honored is a, an extraordinary experience. There are 55 works of art on view and you represent 70 students that have uh, been chosen by a very, very distinguished jury to be here on view for our audiences through the summer. Art crosses all cultures, all ethnicities, and is the one thing that I think unites the world. So please, come to the Met and be inspired, be creative, be curious, be analytical. I honor your efforts and your intelligence and above all your potential and everything that you are going to bring to this city and to all those who have the pleasure to encounter you. So congratulations and enjoy the evening. My goal was for people to look at it and think like, wow, and they want to picture themselves in it and then they stop and look around and they can imagine themselves in a jungle. Manhattan has, has a lot of skyscrapers and the picture's about the New York sky and water line. The name is Best All Day. And um, since I come from France, I did it based on Paris. In my art class, Miss Joseph, she told us to um, do a Picasso-inspired picture. So I was going to do the blue period, but um, I didn't have enough shades of blue, so I just did other colors with it. Uh, this piece is kind of about um, a portrait we were doing in class following uh, Da Vinci's uh, techniques. Me. These are works by young artists who are, um, they're, they're not yet terribly influenced. And there is a, just a genuineness, an authenticity, an exuberance, and a, a raw creativity that I find so inspiring. This is like food, I think, for children. This is something so necessary. Art is as important in their education as any other subject, and I'd like that to be in the minds of those who plan. Just coming up with the idea was challenging. The hard parts were definitely the nest because it's very um, tedious, and um, the, the fun part was the birds because I, liked, I enjoyed making that sort of texture. Making the details and smudging it, it was like, it took a long time to finish. The hardest part was the blue background. It was my first time working on a scratch board and it was challenging because we were shading with knives, like pen knives. I think that one of the nice things about having this at the Met is that it's a place where art matters. And I think that one of the things I'd like the public to know is that art's important in education that we need to take small children and give them the opportunities to shape their ideas, develop their thoughts, and then to see older students telling us something else about the world that they live in and how they react to it. So it's that range of responses that makes this a very special opportunity for the public to see initial expressions to fully develop skills. It's a self-portrait, I'd say. Uh, those are my shoes, those are my feet. I wanted to bring a sort of new energy into the work that I do because I usually just do illustration. And for me to do collage and to do something very loose, and it was liberating. Basically, the name Metamorphosis came of the way I thought of nature. It changes. So I figured people change. The flower is rising, it's growing, it's showing a change in the person. So that's kind of like what made me make this picture the, what it is. Um. It just sometimes it just comes to me. When I first began it, I was I was interested in shoes because we were studying the teapots. So I, um, I found this shape that I first began with. That's how I got the shape. It's just like a portrait of myself. I just tried my best. Oh, I was so excited to be to have my picture here in the museum. It's such an honor to to be here. This is the third year uh, I have my uh, one of my drawings in this museum. Rodrigo's like a rock star at school because he keeps winning PS art. And I think it's extraordinary to see so many works on, on this level together in one place. It's something that just makes all of the students, not just Rodrigo, aware of, of the arts and of what's happening in museums. What we want to do is build audiences for the future 
especially in wonderful institutions like this, and we want students to feel comfortable in the museum. I would like the public to understand the depth of teaching and learning in the arts in the New York City public schools and the importance to keep arts programs alive in the public schools. I think art is a way that makes the, the world beautiful. I just basically love all of art. It does revolve around me every day. I see a picture here, a billboard there. I like art because I like to show off. I like to show off what I can do. Creating really is what makes people human. It's what makes you want to aspire to do things and to, and to see and to visualize. It's what really keeps people going.